Welcome to BCom Honors. In our last videos, we covered DSC 1.1 Management Principles and Applications and DSC 1.2 Business Laws. Now we are going to share the syllabus of DSC 1.3 Financial Accounting. It is four credits course, three credits for lectures and one credit for practical. The eligibility criterion for this paper is 12th pass. Unit 1, Theoretical Framework and Accounting Process. Conceptual Framework. 1. Accounting as an information system, the users of financial accounting information, and their needs. An overview of artificial intelligence and data analytics in accounting. 2. Qualitative characteristics of accounting information. Functions, advantages, and limitations of accounting. Branches of accounting. Basis of accounting cash basis and accrual basis, capital and revenue expenditures and receipts, events occurring after the balance sheet date, extraordinary items, prior period items, accounting estimate, accounting policies, fair value, meaning, recognition and disclosure requirements of provision, contingent liability, and contingent asset. 3. Financial accounting principles, meaning and need, generally accepted accounting principles, GAPP entity, money measurement, going concern, cost, revenue recognition, realization, fundamental accounting assumptions, accruals, periodicity, full disclosure, consistency, materiality, and prudence, conservatism. Fundamental. Accounting assumptions as per AS1. 4. Accounting standards, concept, benefits, and process of formulation of accounting. Standards including and AS, IFRS, converged standards, and IFRSs. Convergence versus adoption, application of accounting standards, AS, and IND AS, on various entities in India. International financial accounting standards, IFRS, meaning, need, and scope. Accounting process from the recording of a business transaction to the preparation of trial balance, including adjustment, transfer, and closing entries. Application of generally accepted accounting. Principles in recording financial transactions and preparing financial statements and accounting treatment of GST. Unit 2, Business Income, Accounting for Property, Plant and Equipment, and Valuation of Inventory. A, Business Income, Concept of Revenue and Business Income, Measurement of Business Income, Relevance of Accounting Period, Continuity Doctrine, and Matching Concept in the Measurement of Business Income. Objectives of Measurement of Business Income. B, Revenue Recognition with Reference to AS9. C, Accounting for Property, Plant, and equipment with reference to AS10. Impact of depreciation on measurement of business income. Accounting for intangible assets with reference to AS26. D. Valuation of inventory with reference to AS2. Impact of inventory valuation on measurement of business income by using FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average method. Unit 3. Financial statements of sole proprietorship and not-for-profit organizations. Preparation of financial statements of sole proprietorship and not-for-profit organizations. Unit 4. Accounting for inland branches, departments and leases. A. Accounting for inland branches. Concept of dependent branches. Branch accounting as per debtor system, stock and debtor system. B. Accounting for departments, excluding markup account. C. Accounting for leases with reference to AS19. Unit 5. Computerized accounting systems. Computerized accounting systems. Computerized accounts by using any popular accounting software creating a company, configure and feature settings, creating accounting ledgers. And groups. Creating stock items and groups. Vouchers entry including GST. Generating. Reports. Cash book. Ledger accounts. Trial balance. Profit and loss account balance sheet. Cash flow statement. Selecting and shutting a company, backup, and restore data of a company.